Can this grass become an alternative energy source and help fight climate change? The grassy banks of the River Barrow in Ireland may look unproductive, but to scientists involved in a European research project, this land and its vegetation may hold the key to an energy revolution. Miscanthus is a good candidate energy crop because not only does it produce high biomass yields, but it has uh, mechanisms which mean that it's quite thrifty in the way it uses both nutrients and water. So it produces a high yield of biomass or energy for a low input of energy. Crops like Miscanthus grew quite well on some marginal sites. In fact, they grew so well that they grew better and produced higher yields than corresponding yields on good agricultural soils. So how and through which methods are the secrets of these grasses revealed? Scientists monitor photosynthesis activity to evaluate the ideal ambient conditions for growing biomass. The scanthus is mainly native to Asia and Africa and its cultivation in Europe faces a number of climatic challenges. The cold conditions during spring and autumn, especially here in the northern parts of Europe, can limit photosynthesis. That's why we're trying to find new genotypes which can better photosynthesize under such conditions. Liquid nitrogen is also key to this quest for maximum energy efficient grass. Scientists use it to study the genetic secrets of different grass varieties and to identify the ones best adapted to extreme weather, flooding or drought. We grind the plants, then we extract the DNA using chloroform. So on one hand we'll have all the plants' tissues and proteins, and on the other hand the DNA molecules. Then we treat these molecules to read the DNA code, the small letters that compose that DNA. That will help us select the plants we're interested in. The ultimate aim, the scientists say, is to come up with clear cropping patterns that can help European growers bring these grasses to the energy market, particularly for heating systems. We've also optimised the cultivation methods of the biomass grass in terms of practical agriculture. And we've developed a method of drying this biomass grass more efficiently. This had been a big problem in the production line. And while trying to transform these grasses into a viable energy solution, researchers also point out a potential added value they think they have. These marginal species absorb huge quantities of CO2 and could help fight climate change. One of the things that's happening when these plants are growing is that they are building up the store of carbon in the soil. Um, and this is a way of sequestering carbon that's coming from the atmosphere.